So hey guys, uh, let's get ready together. Today I've been kind of uh, working 24, well really 34 hour shifts. Um, and uh, I have to say, it really messes with your sort of well-being, physical and emotional. And it really messed with my skin. Um, I normally don't get breakouts, but I have like three little things going on right now. That's very unusual for me, and this is not hormonal. This is just poor life style, <laughs> really, what's going on here. So let's try to do something about it in terms of makeup. Um, I've already moisturized to care of my skin. I've primed with a little bit of a, a glowing sort of thing here. This is Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops by Alginus. As you can see, it's super subtle. I mixed it in with my moisturizer just in hopes that it might give me a little bit of a perk up. I don't really see a huge difference on my skin. Tell me if you do. Then I'm taking my trusty Meteorites um, Baby Glow in the color 2. Claire. So um, this is like a lightweight BB cream that I tend to use when I feel like my skin's dull, I don't feel like I'm looking my best, but I don't want a ton of coverage because usually a ton of coverage on a very tired skin like mine is makes me look much worse <laughs> rather than better. So if I know that I'm not looking like top-notch fantastic, I didn't get sleep in the last long while and I've been overworking, then really what we what what I will go for is much lighter makeup because it t tends to not emphasize the fatigue of um, of my skin. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with today. Just following massage lines, really spreading the product in a thin layer. Gave it a bit of a perk up in terms of uh, skin appearance but not really covering very much for coverage we need a bit of concealer today i'm gonna go with my maybelline fit me concealer um i really don't think i love this thing um there's so much hype surrounding this particular product but i just i don't i'm not sure that i think it's worth all the hype i mean it's not bad but i don't know i'm not sure that i see what the fuss is about Tap, 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 tap. I think it's just that I probably prefer a creamier texture, that's all. So I think I've sufficiently concealed. That's as good as it's going to get today. Uh, and my face is going to just sit for a minute while I do my brows. And for brows, I'm using my trusty Lamasca Brow Cake in Thunder. I'm going to go in with a little uh, ankle brush and not carve out, but really fill in my brows, that's it. I'm going to give it a brush through with my Milani brow gel. Another trick for brightening is just using a really, really bright base on your eyes. And I'm going to use the Ultimate Brow Highlighter by you know, Wet n Wild. So super budget find here. And I'm not using it for the brows. I'm really using it to brighten up the lids because I feel like my face is kind of dull today. Now I'm taking my setting powder from Hourglass. This is Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Diffused Light. My trust, trusty little powder. Look how much I've used up of it. And I'm going to set where I've concealed and where I've added product, really in the center of my face. Today I'm not going to mess around with contouring or any anything really uh, involved. I'm just going to add a bit of rosy glow to the face. And for that, I'm going to take my Guerlain Meteorites Perle de Blush in gel radiance um, this is a uh, from you know the meteorites range it's blush in this pearl form it's absolutely adorable and i love the color of it so i'm just going to refresh my complexion with this blush just makes all the difference in the world and i'm touching up the rest of my skin just ever so slightly so this flush doesn't look you know like it doesn't belong here it'll blend in with the rest of the face now I'm going to take my Naked Pigment by MAC and just kind of throw it um, on my lid. This is pretty brightening, basic, nice little pigment and it's going to give my lid a nice wide-eyed effect. I'm not blending it towards the brow, I'm just blending it over the lid and into the crease a little bit. 
Again, I'm going for ultra natural because the more tired you are, the more makeup will kind of jump off your face and say, hey, I'm here, she's trying to, to hide things. Um, so I'm going to leave the eyeliner and the eyeshadow out of it completely today and just go in with my mascara. And I'm using my Lancome Excessive Blackout Mascara, if anybody's interested. I've been liking it, it's a bit wet still. I'm waiting for it to dry out because I generally like slightly drier formulas for myself. So this is one um, layer of mascara. I think it gives you a pretty good fluttery effect. I like that. So I'm gonna let it dry and then apply a second layer to give my lashes more of a lift even. And I'm going to leave the bottom lashes completely bare, which I don't usually do normally either, but for this look, it will work much better. So this is as far as I'm going to go with my mascara. I think it looks great. Um, the whole look is really nice and fresh and this approach really perked up my complexion quite a bit and I still don't really look like I'm wearing makeup much um, which is which is the point of this kind of makeup just to freshen you up you know for lips I'm going to take uh, Madeira by by beauty it's a beautiful nude peachy nude which will also add to this brightening fresh face effect and it's very very comfortable as you know if you watch my channel by beauty probably makes my most favorite lip products ever ever so this is going to be the final look i think it's really nice you can add highlight if you want i don't feel like it um, i think this is this is how i'm going to leave it and that's it for today see you guys later bye bye